So today I've got a really, really good Ohio game in Airship Escort, of course. But I don't really want to talk about this game specifically. I want to talk about aiming bugs and how to avoid one particular aiming bug, where the game doesn't recognize that you're locked onto a target. And this is something I've known about for a long time, and I just really hadn't crossed my mind before. If you've been watching the streams or some of the videos here with battleships, you'll know that I've been very frustrated by battleship dispersion and a lot of these salvos into broadside targets at relatively close range where I just miss everything or get a couple of hits. You've probably had those experiences yourself and I feel like I've found a bit of a fix here or more like I remembered a fix that somebody else told me about. Uh, where you lock on and then manually unlock and relock on again. So the default key is X that you can use on your keyboard that will manually lock on to different targets. I've actually got it rebound to spacebar, and you're going to notice throughout this entire game, I'm going to lock on, unlock, lock on just like this before every shot. And I found that that gives me much, much tighter dispersion. Now, it's not going to be noticeable on every salvo, but overall, over the last couple days I've been playing like this, I feel like my battleships are far more consistent. I feel like it's very noticeable to me as a player, which is really, really nice. Something that I've been very frustrated with about this game and battleships specifically for quite some time, I feel like has been at least something mitigated. All right, I can mitigate it just a little bit. There are other aim bugs, of course. We're not just dealing with lock on issues, right? There's gonna be ones where your shells land short. There's an auto aiming system that takes into account the speed and uh, the direction of the ship that you're shooting at, trying to lead a little bit for you. Unfortunately, it's not smart enough to take into account how a ship is maneuvering. So using their rudder and playing with their speed too. It just is a instance, right? Where it takes its speed and direction at the time you shoot and that is it. And it tries to auto aim for that, which is really frustrating when a cruiser, for example, you'll see me do this a lot in my cruiser videos, slow down and turn out as soon as a battleship shoots at you, they're almost guaranteed to miss. Even if they compensate for that, thinking that you're going to make that move to dodge, the auto aim system will tend to pull the shells a little bit short. And of course, we have to talk about islands, right? So shooting over islands, anytime an enemy ship is near grounding or is grounded on an island, this whole auto aim stuff that tries to compensate and help you hit things actually makes you miss more often. So <laughs> there's a few issues like that. Um, those are the big ones that I can remember. I'm sure there's other issues that uh, we haven't really found or talked about too much. Uh, but the big one here is lock on. And I think that this one affects most salvos. So if you're feeling like your battleships aren't particularly accurate, or maybe you find battleships okay, at least give this a go. Try and use this lock-on mechanic to your advantage. Spam the X key or rebind it to spacebar like I did, and try and break your keyboard, basically, before every single shot. Uh, there's some in here that are really, really nice. There was a salvo there in on the Palmer that killed him, that felt really nice. This one, pretty decent as well, getting a Citadel there, and we actually hit six out of eight shells. It's a really nice thing to see that I feel like I haven't had in a very long time. Having salvos where I hit more than 50%. Unfortunately, we take a bow sit here from that Duncan, which feels pretty bad, honestly. Um, and we could actually take some massive pain here. Duncan could bow tank us, his torpedo could hurt, and of course, a Jinan farming us but we do that instead. <laughs> I feel like I can rely on these guns again, and I can make plays where I can push in aggressively, counting on my guns to do damage. It's kind of been the last two days or so where I've been playing the game. Lots of battleships since I've started doing this again. Like I said, that this is something that people have known about for a while at the highest level. I'm sure those of you that are watching, if you're watching and you're from... Uh, 07 or some of the other clans that I've been in at a very high level, you'll know that I'm just dumb for not doing this because you guys have told me to do it over and over again for years at this point. Um, I don't know why I had forgotten about this, but the last two days have been very, very nice. So I am definitely all on board for uh, unlock, lock on, unlock, lock on again. And you can see here, Jinan gets away with one, right? So it doesn't work all the time. There are other issues. 
Maybe that was just bad dispersion. Although that one looked like it wasn't very locked on or some sort of aim bug that we were dealing with there. But I gotta say, I am much, much happier <laughs> while playing this game now. Now that I feel like my guns are actually going to go where I aim and they're not just gonna land all around an enemy ship. Look at that salvo. Look at that. I feel like I haven't seen that kind of salvos in so long. Or if I do, it's one in every few games or something like that. I'm very, very happy with this. In this Ohio game, for example, we have 50 hits and 161,000 damage. Like what? It's not even damage from secondaries, really. That is an insane damage to hit ratio. And yes, we've got citadels. We're catching broadside targets, but that's what a battleship should do. It should do damage on low number of hits. I think you should be trying to maneuver your battleship to find those broadside targets. Take your time with your salvo. Use your concealment surprise people with that one devastating broadside hit and in this game and many others from the past couple of days it's been working extremely well so i'll definitely be highlighting more of those games um, as time goes on but i just had to get a video out talking about this because you guys should really know that battleships can be accurate and you can have some consistency out of them not entirely, of course, there is more RNG to this class than cruisers, but to me it feels like it's much more reasonable now that I'm kind of taking this into account. Of course, you still have to do the work of aiming your targets properly, right? Like this Jinan, I'm pretty sure he would have out-accelerated those shells, so thankfully our Iowa takes them out. Um, you still got to do the basics of leading your target properly and that, but hey, at least this is going to take out some frustrations. At least for me, it's helped a ton. As a battleship player too, it's not just about armor piercing. On ships like Ohio and a few others where they have pretty decent HE shells, and the American battleships having these special commanders where you can swap over from the AP to the HE relatively easily. Uh, yeah, double fire, around 7,000 damage or something like that. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good salvo. Of course, our secondaries are gonna do some good work here too. I think that Ohio probably is one of the better ships for this game mode, considering how good it can be at longer ranges and at close range. It just brawls things reasonably well. It's not going to win a 1v1 against a Kerr first or a Preussen. Uh, it might do okay against a Schlieffen, considering the overmatch. Uh, but the deciding factor there is the secondaries actually pen 32 millimeters. In this instance, we're fighting Yamato, not too worried, although he could overmatch our stern and do some serious damage to us. Um, we're healthy enough that we should be able to take this guy out. And sticking with HE, I don't overmatch Yamato. Yamato doesn't have a very big superstructure, so just aim for his bow and do really reliable HE damage. And fortunately for us, the Howland gets a little bit greedy and misses both racks of his torpedoes. Uh, didn't even spread them out too much. Although, to be fair to him, that was probably the way that his team was going to win. Or one of the only ways was to get greedy and try and take me out like that. Something else you should know, just really quick here at the end. Wargaming actually has changed the targeting system of secondaries on destroyers. Just look at how the secondaries target the DD and actually hit them. Look at that. It lands right center mass. No more of this bad leading and not actually hitting the DD. Splashing shells behind, even in very close ranges. So secondaries are actually pretty valuable against DDs in these close quarters circumstances. Uh, so a really ridiculous game, 220k, crack in here. Of course, we don't get the achievement, unfortunately. Um, there's only the airship escort specific ones, but a really fun game where I had a consistent battleship. So just to show you guys really quick what I've done here in the settings, uh, we go over to controls and we want to scroll down all the way until we get into weapons and lock targets. So you can see X is default. I've just put spacebar in here and I just smashed my space guard bar key a couple of times before I even shoot. And yeah, it's been really, really nice. Uh, the build on Halsey uh, for the Ohio looks a little like this. Specifically for airship escort, I find that I'm getting a lot of value out of close quarters combat in this game mode specifically. I don't know if random battles this would be quite as good as taking some extra healing or even concealment. Uh, but here where people are pushed in a little more, that 10% reload is almost always used. Uh, it's very, very nice to have. We're not really changing much on the upgrades though. This is basically what I'd be running in random battles anyway. We are, of course, taking Artillery Plotting Room Mod 2. 
Got to get good dispersion any way we possibly can. Um, and now it seems like I can avoid at least one of the aiming bugs most of the time. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, hey, I hope your battleships are a little more accurate now. Uh, definitely go check that out and have some fun with that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.